So anyway, I just want to mention this one thing. It was uh, uh, a Saturday, something uh, terribly exciting happened to me. And, and you know how good it is when something happens that you know you will remember the rest of your life? Yeah. That, that only happens maybe a handful of times yeah. if, you, if you're lucky in, in your lifetime. So here's what it was on, on Saturday morning. Now, I, I have to set the scene for you. You may have to use your imagination. Okay. I'm in Montana. Uh huh. It's, it's the treasure state. Yes. And I think probably the widest of all states. I believe so. And it's just hugely it's massive, wide. Massive, yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's a 4.59, because I know this because I look at the little digital readout on the clock. It's 4.59 a.m., and I hear a noise, and I think to myself, probably the wind, and in Montana, that's always a pretty good bet. Yeah. yeah. So I go back to sleep for about 10 minutes until I hear another noise. And this time it's more pronounced, more defined, but yet I think, oh, crap, it's 10 after 5. I ain't getting up. I'm just not going to get up. So I went to sleep for another half an hour, and finally... I hear what sounds like somebody in the kitchen making breakfast. Okay. And I said to myself, well, that's a good thing, isn't it? <laughs> it, it might be somebody in the kitchen making me breakfast. I, I, I don't recall setting it up. I don't recall organizing it, but God bless them if they're making breakfast. Sure, yeah, sure. So I went back, I went back to bed for like another 10 minutes because it's, it's still not even 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So finally, the, the noise becomes so cacophonous. There is so much noise coming out of the kitchen. Even if it's people making me breakfast, they're doing a horrible job right. of it. <laughs> so I, I get up and I open the, the bedroom door and I reach around the little thing there and I turn on the light and, and right in the next room is you have your living room and, uh, your, sorry, your dining room and then you have your kitchen. And I open the door and there standing in my kitchen is the largest bear I've ever seen in my entire get life. Get out. Get out. Get out of here. A huge yes. grizzly bear. Well, I don't know how big, but he was the biggest bear I've ever seen in my kitchen. I Sure, I understand. Okay. So I, I closed the door. And, and he, he had trashed the kitchen. I mean, he pulled the refrigerator out of the thing. Oh. He had pulled open the bottom drawers and just twisted them like, like little gum wrappers. No kidding. He, he, had, he ate half a chocolate cake. He ate a dozen bananas. Yeah. He, he ate two oranges. He ate, ate a peach. He chewed up the peach and spit the peach pit out into the dog's bowl. Okay. He, he, ate, he ate a jar of frosting. He had two pouches of beef jerky. <laughs> he, he slid open the drawers and got out some candles. Yeah, good. You know, for ambiance. Well, he's... Uh... <laughs> he opened another drawer, pulled out some hot dog buns, ate the hot dog buns, and, and, and had, was climbing up and just kind of sniffing around and had turned on the faucet. The water was running. Oh, uh, really? I mean, he had something in mind. Porridge? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So... So, so I, 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 close, I close the door and I, and I call my friend uh, Chip who lives in town who sort of runs everything and, and knows everything and is really smart and really good and a Marine and he's the guy you want to call when you got a bear in your kitchen. Okay. <laughs> so he says, oh, I said, Yes, that's right. Uh. So uh, it's like a 40 miles uh, to, from town to the house, and he, can, he gets there in 11 minutes. Yeah. And, and so uh, for the next uh, two or three hours, it's me and Chip walking through the house with flashlights, and the, the bear gets tired of eating everything, so then we see him walk down the hallway. Oh, no. He walks down to the hall, turns to the left, and goes into another bedroom. So I go around the corner, and, oh, I see him in the bedroom, so we open that door thinking maybe he'll come out. And so then all of a sudden we can't see him again and I think, oh my God, he's going downstairs. Now you get a bear in the basement, you're really screwed. <laughs> so I, I go down in the basement with a flashlight and he's not down there and then I come up and as I come up, the bear is crossing from one bedroom into the next bedroom and it's just like, oh, good morning. <laughs> he go, goes into, into the bed room and lies down and goes to sleep. So now... Now I close the door on the, so he can't get out that way and, and open the outside, uh, but he, he's not coming out. He's in there asleep. <laughs> so I got some, uh, some lacrosse balls and now I'm throwing the balls at the bear. 
and, and he just, he doesn't care. He doesn't care about anything. All he wants to do is, is nap. So he's stretched out. The bear was in my house for five and a half hours. <laughs> so f finally, uh, Chip, my friend, the genius, he says, you know what we need? M80s. <laughs> we got to get us some M80s. So he, he calls this, this uh, high school kid in town, Brandon, and he says, <laughs> Brandon, Can, can you get out here with some M80s? So, all right, so now uh, Brandon comes out, so uh, me and Chip are uh, standing in the driveway. In, in the meantime, the, the house is now surrounded by a herd of bighorn sheep. Wait, how did that it's happen? It's like Circus Vargas or something. Uh, I don't, your house. I just was crazy. <laughs> uh, uh, so now uh, Brandon uh, shows up, and, and Chip takes the, the M80s in, and he starts you know, dropping them into the bedroom where the bear is. Finally, the, the bear comes out. And here, let me show you what this guy looks like. Okay, this is him sitting in the bedroom. Maybe you can see, that's him. You see him in there? <laughs> you think I'm making this crap up? <laughs> He's big. He is big. Finally, he's coming out. He's decided he's going to leave the house. There, there he is. is. <laughs> and I'm telling you, he couldn't have been cuter, he couldn't have been sweeter, yeah. and was, was not aggressive, and, and just very, very dog-like. And here he is, finally, thank God, after five and a half hours heading for the hills. <laughs> So that was my Saturday. That's some, yeah. <laughs> but if, if you ever are in that situation, call a high school kid. <laughs> Get those M80s. Your problems are over, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what a day. Now, I, I want to just follow up on one thing. Uh, Monday night, I told uh, this uh, story about a bear uh, breaking into my house and uh, fixing himself breakfast. <laughs> And, and I told uh, about the, the, the damage that he had done. And, and, and today, uh, my friend in Montana shipped me uh, part of the damaged refrigerator. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, he, see, he, he got in and he turned on the faucet and he was eating bananas and he pulled the refrigerator out. Right. And he, he had uh, chocolate cake and he was eating fudge frosting and, and he had oranges and uh, some beef jerky and an apple and, and, a, and, a, and a peach. And then oh. he spit the peach pit into the dog's bowl because... You know, he's smart. The peach pit, those, those are poisonous. You can't be eating those. So he just left a little something for the dog, kind of a little, hey. Uh, so anyway, today I'm, I'm now getting remnants of the, the big breakfast, uh, the, the kitchen yeah. mauling. So now, this, this, is a, this is a sliding drawer out of a, like a, a refrigerator. Right, sliding drawer. Yeah. yeah. And where you would put, and it, it contains zucchini and carrots. Okay. He, he was not interested in the zucchini and carrots. I see. He, he wanted more chocolate cake. Okay, but it was... It's made, oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Ah, uh, that's solid. That's solid metal. Yeah. Twisted it like a gum wrapper. Yeah, he sure did. Here now is the bear making his escape. This is him. This is after breakfast. He's had enough. That's the real, that's the real thing. Yep. And yeah. there he goes. I'm going to get calling Allstate about my bear policy. <laughs> I hope you're... I know you're covered. <laughs> yeah, I hope I am Out covered. there, you got to be, yeah. yeah.